<laughs> Hiya, my name's Kelly McGlade. I'm glad I'm doing this wee documentary thing, actually. You know, just in case when my DVD comes out, I need any extras on it. You should always get extras. That's what my ma always said. <laughs> but then my ma worked in a sauna. Anyway, the day me and my band, Kelly and the Sloppy Seconds, are away to get a photo shoot done. That's if they two wee ugly bastards are singing, we don't crack your lenses. <laughs> OK, girls, if you can all get really close in together. Callie's stinking, but she's actually stinking. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't shower. My water's been cut off cos know how my dad's in the jail for driving his motor into that old folks home? And know how my ma's went to Malia with that Polish guy if you know how that Interpol wanted list thing? And any money I had, I had to spend on paying off the reporters if you know how that wee crime magazine, the grasser, for it stopped them writing a story about know how my brother and his bare knuckle fight gang. No, how want to shut up? Sorry. This is Kelly and the sloppy settings. No Carly and her mental family full of rockets and her wee stupid pal Emma. And oh, by the way, beautiful Kelly McGlade, stoning up the back, waiting for her bandmates to stop talking shite. Sorry. Are we you going to spray some of this onion up ye? <laughs> Emphasis on up ye. So, Kelly, do you think I could do a few solo shots of yourself where your bandmates go and powder their noses? You heard them, Emma. Are we going to powder your nose? Know the way your brother does it? <laughs> Murder, so they are. Couple of lucky wee tramps. Right, what do you want from me? Well, I can see you're a very determined young woman, Kelly. You're a go-getter. And that means we're very similar people. Because when I see a lassie I want, I go get her. <laughs> That's hilarious. I hope you develop your photos better than you develop your humorous concepts. Oh, I'd like to develop something inside of you. Mate, the only chance you would have had is if I'd met you in your dark room and I didn't know what an ugly bastard you were. I thought a fish eye was a lens until I saw your face. You won't get anywhere in this game with that kind of attitude, darling. Excuse me? Attitude? I'm a Bernstein lassie. We were born with attitude. My first words were a slagging off for my health visitor. My first steps were a run-up to kicking my dad in the buzz. So don't you tell me I'm not going to get anywhere. So yourself, you wee hairy. <laughs> no. do you think you can give me fears? <laughs> Is that fierce enough for you? Hiya, my name's Kelly McGlade. My girl band's got a gig the night. So I better go and pick up these two wee manky skeletons that stand behind me. <laughs> well, this is us, my band. God help me. We used to be called the Snide Rides, and then we changed it to the Sizzle Chests, and then it was, um... Then it was the Sweaty Betties. Aye, then it was the Mingers, then it was the Do Your Dingers, uh, and then it was Romantic Cellulite, and then it was, uh... Stupid Bastards. Aye, uh, and then the Sex Cows, and then it was the Healthy Howlers, and then it was the Six Tits. Uh, and then we finally settled on what we are just now, Kelly and the Sloppy Seconds. You better get moving, Kelly. Aye, true. Um, this next song's a bit of a political song. It's about how the judges and the courts treat your boyfriend when all he's done is chinned a guy for posting a shite through his granny's letterbox. I mean, that's <laughs> disgusting. Yeah. Was your boyfriend that posted that excreta at his cell hen? Excreta? Excuse me? The shite. <laughs> your boyfriend posted it at his cell as an excuse so he could let her tomo. He's boasting about it down here. You say my ex lies to me? I'm saying the truth of the behaviours of men is sometimes better left outside the sphere of female knowledge, hen, is all. The sphere of female knowledge? Maybe I should come here and clatter this ankle boot against your spheres of male bollage? <laughs> just sing your song, hen. Do you think you're performing monkeys or something? Uh, just leave it, Kelly. No, no, no. Listen, bet the last time a woman did what you tell her was when you asked your ma to go and hide your dad's falsers before he gave you a gobble this morning. You talk about my ma, you wee hairy. Excuse me. These two might be hairies, but I'm no. I've got dreams. I'm going to make it out of here. Just like you're going to make it out of here. Me? Aye. 
and an ambulance. Somebody go and pick him up. He sounds like one of my dad's Scott Walker albums. <laughs> Hiya, my name's Kelly McGlade. I'm a bit pissed off, actually, cos I've got to go down to that Burnless and Herald to do an interview all about me, and they want me to bring my two bandmates as well. A pair of wee toilet brushes with tits. <laughs> Look at his. This is for a newspaper. This is big time. Look at the way he's have turned up. Carly, you look a total shambles. Clay's everywhere. You look like the flare in TK Maxx. <laughs> Emma, what colour are they tights? Caramel. They look like American tan. You look like you've turned up to do the slosh at a wedding. I told you to just come dressed like me, didn't I? I mean, look at me. I'm magnificent. You're just cramping my style again. Sorry, Kelly. Right, let's get started. So, how did you all meet? Shh. We all met at Burniston Academy. Carly and Emma were dead unpopular, a couple of wee nothings, and I felt sorry for them, so I paid smelly Davy McGrogan and Big Joe Hood a packet of Space Raiders each to get off with them. This day, every time I make love, I can smell pickled onion. Eh, uh, before you turn on the waterworks, it was beef Space Raiders I bought them. You smell pickled onion cos you're always making love round the back of the chippy. <laughs> and why did you all decide to form a band? Cos that's our way of getting out of Burniston. I mean, this place is a shithole, and you can quote me on that and underline it and put it in Italians as well if you want to. Italics. Excuse me? You said Italians. Put it in Italians. You meant italics. I did not say Italians. You think I'm stupid? No. No, it's fine. It's, you did say it, but just a wee slip of the tongue. Slip of the tongue? I'll take you to the Burniston Butcher and slip your tongue into a meat slicer. You can take it home for your wife and she can put it in her pieces. Bet she gets more pleasure out your tongue that way than any way you've intended over the years. Kelly? Did I say Italians? No. <laughs> Is that it started? Newspapers misquoting me, trying to tear me down. Tear you down? Nobody even knows who you are. Excuse me? Nobody knows who Kelly McGlade is. See when I'm hanging about on the east coast of LA with Brittany and Sierra getting out of motors with no knickers on? The closest the Burniston Herald will get to me is if I fly a black pudding supper on a private jet for me and Lady Gaga and your papers wrapped round it. <laughs> you should just be happy I'm even blessing you with my presence here today before I blow up big time. Aye, well, it's cos you already suppers you eat, you've blown up this much already. <laughs> Excuse me. That's it. Leather him. What? You heard. Are we a band or no? Leather him. Well, here, I don't want to misquote you. Was that ah, ah, ya, or ah, ya, ah, ah, ya? So how come you're still in here, then? I thought you'd be on Top of the Pops by now. Aye, well, Top of the Pops isn't own anymore, Grander. You know, I'm trying to bring out an album, no build a time machine. Right, Dal. It's got us a G&T, eh? Excuse me? Made a mistake there, mate. What, a G&T, I said? No, what was that you called me? Oh, I can't mind. Doll. You called her doll. You called me doll? Did I? You did. My sympathies, mate. How am I a doll? I meant in a good way. A, a doll's good looking, aye? Aye. Baby dolls. Wee baby dolls, you find them attractive? No, no. No baby dolls. No, like a, like a Barbie doll. Beautiful. Barbie doll? Excuse me? Oh my god, do you 
shag Barbie dolls? <laughs> no. Sonny, I'm not even sure how we would you willing to be to shag a Barbie doll. How about that? About that. About the size of a grain of rice, not even long grain rice, paella rice. Don't do anything with Barbie dolls. So you're not attracted to dolls? So you're not going home and burning rubber every night? No, I'm not attracted to dolls. Oh, God help you, mate. God help you. So, how am I a doll, then? What? If you're not attracted to dolls, right, how am I a doll, then? No, a plastic doll. A real doll. A real doll? Excuse me? Would you think dolls come to your life or something? Do you think it's a bag puss? <laughs> what? I don't even know what baggy puss is. I just want my drink before... What did you just say? You said baggy puss. <laughs> baggy puss? I don't know what baggy puss is. Right, I've never seen it. Can I just get my drink? Did he just say that again? Twice he said it, baggy puss. <laughs> what are you saying baggy puss for? I didn't... What's it called then? Bag puss! Bag puss then! Excuse me, that's not what you said! What he said was baggy puss. <laughs> Why would you say that? Unless when you walked in here, you looked at me and you thought, she looks a bit baggy in the puss region. You know what I mean, Sonny? That's an angle you could take on it, aye. <laughs> Obviously, I wasn't trying to say that you had a slack. <laughs> you bad! Well, thank Christ, you mad banshee. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Hiya. What you call me? <laughs> Hiya. My name's Kelly McGlade. Just about to have a meeting with my shitey bandmates. Tell them I'm breaking up. I'm going solo. Listen, I brought you here today to give you some bad news. It's just going to be me for now on, pleasing myself. Oh, that's a shame. You want to lend him a rabbit? I mean, I'm going solo, pleasing myself music-wise. I'm breaking up the band. No, no, no tears, no tears, no tears, no tears. You've had a good run. You can go back to your job folding totty scones in the totty scone factory with your heads held high. Well. As high as you can hodge your heads with the amount of makeup you've got plastered on them. But you need us. But I can do. They call me the Rihanna Aburnison. Excuse me? The Rihanna Aburnison? Me like the Piana Aburnison? Piana? Aye. Cos at parties, guys all stone run you while somebody has a shot. <laughs> Look, it's over. I'm not going to be able to make it carrying you two on my back. We'll stop drinking. I don't mean literally carrying you on my back, although that's a problem I know. I mean, <sighs> talent-wise. I mean, look at me. I'm magnificent. <laughs> no offence to you two, but if I rolled a bottle of Wicked past any street corner, there'd be a dozen of yous chasing after it. You <laughs> said you were going to get us out of Burniston. How can I take yous out of Burniston? I can't take yous anywhere. Remember that time we were gigging, we stayed in that hotel? You didn't just steal the towels, you stole the interior decorating. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was like, ah, are these two lassies going to win me a Grammy? These two lassies steaming a border after the wall with an iron? It was a nice border! And then it was that time we were at that restaurant with the talent scout, and Emma goes into her fake Radley for some lipstick and pulls out, oh my God, a used condom. While the talent scout's eating his semolina and doesn't apologise for being so disgusting. No, decides to turn that into a mid-dinner anecdote like a sexually promiscuous Peter Ustinov. I don't even know who that is. Exactly. You just don't know anything. That's how I need to get rid of you. You are too stupid to survive in this business. You probably think a casting couch is where your granny sits to do her knitting. Now, wait, show yourselves out, you pair of tramps. Breaks your heart, didn't it? <laughs> well, this is my new manager's house. I'm away in to meet him for the first time so we can <laughs> plan out my solo career. He doesn't want any cameras in for some reason, so I suppose this is cheery bye. Thanks for following my story.